Hi there. I'm going to do a quick video with you to show you how we can convert this guess my number game and put in a while loop so that end users have uh, multiple opportunities to play the game. Uh, so a number is randomly generated between one and five. I did create this variable called play equals true. That will come into play when I have my while loop. But for now, we just have print guess welcome to my welcome to guess my number game. And I'm going to randomly pick a number. So I'm basically giving an introduction. This will be outside my while loop because it's just an introduction. Now I'm doing my guess. It is imperative that I have the INT in front here because when I do compare, I am comparing to random integers. So they do need to be integers. Otherwise, it's never going to tell me that we got the guess correct. So this is going to be very important and you won't get receive an error message. So it may not be very obvious if you don't do that. Okay. Then we have a situation where if they just hit enter, I did create a situation where I created that it's an invalid response. If they guess the right number, I did a way to go situation. And then I do want to do, do you want to play again? Yes or no. And that's going to come into play again when we have our loop, which we'll do right now. So I'm going to create a while loop. And I'm going to do it where while play is equal to true, because that starts off as being true. Then we want everything else to happen. We are going to have the game basically. So I'm just going to tab that. So we now have it in the body of the while loop. So here's my guess. I have the integer in front. What do you think my number is there? Any user is going to guess. What I want now is them to, I want to ask play again. So I created a new variable called play again. And I'm going to say, would you like to play again? Type yet, yet, Y for yes or N for no. And I did do a dot upper, of course, so that I can make sure even if they type lowercase Y or N, it's still going to count. All right. And what I want to do now is indicate like, okay, if play again was equal to yes. So let's do that. So if play again, is equal to yes or in this case i'm going to say n to start off so let's say we say no do not want to play again so if that's the case and i have to make sure two equal signs there if we have it no then what i can just say now is we're gonna basically say print thank you for playing um please come again um another time i'll say but more importantly i need to close the loop so to close the loop, so it does not play again, all I have to simply do is now change the variable from play equals true to play equals false. And that will break the loop. All right. So if they say yes, the reason why I want to say have an, um, otherwise I can just leave it alone because it's going to go through the loop. But I do want to actually be prepared if it's a yes, because in this case, what I have outside the loop here is the rent, the numbers being generated outside the loop. So that happens where if even if they guessed incorrectly and they want to play again, which we'll take care of in just a moment, I want them to guess the original number so they can narrow it down. So if they guessed one the first time and said no, but they have to guess two the next time, the three next time, and then eventually at some point they should be able to get the number that was originally generated. But if they're to play again, we don't want that to be the same number or that would be a very boring game because they figured out the number. So what I want to do is if they play again is equal to yes, this is now a situation where I'm going to basically run this again. So I'm going to create a new number. So I'm going to replace my current number with a new randomly generated number. And then when they go back up into the while loop, because you see how this number generations outside the while loop, I will actually have a new number generated, but only if they guessed it correctly the first time. Okay. And you can choose to tweak that, but that's how I want to do it for this particular game. All right. Now that I have all of this working properly, theoretically, you should test my code here in just a moment. I do want to say here, if they, even if they didn't guess the number correctly, that means they were unfortunately did not get the number. I do want to give them still an opportunity to continue to play. So if play again is no, and then I can say, thank you again for playing. I don't know why they didn't paste. Okay. Grab that real quick, replace that. And of course, more importantly was I wanted this quit the loop. Okay. So that's how we can have it where it breaks the loop. And if they don't want to play great. Um, if 
they don't say yes, or sorry, if they do say yes, I don't need to have an else statement because it'll automatically, it'll skip this if statement because it's not true and it will go back up and play the game again. Let's test it. Oh, I always forget that with my, so did you play again as well? That's line 12. Oh, way up here. Make sure I have my double equal sign. Let's run that again. Okay, so if I guess number two, or let's go, I'm gonna go up the numbers, okay? So if I go guess one, okay, well, there you go. I already got it. So if I say yes, this is a great test. So when I say yes, I'm playing it again, and now it shouldn't be one again because I randomly generated a new number if they guessed it right the first time. So let's try it. Okay, see, now it says nice try. Unfortunately, one is not correct. So now I can try again. So if I say, let's say four, nice try and so on. But do you notice how it's not giving me an opportunity? It's not asking me, would you like to play again? So let's see what's going on. So I did have it, would you like to play again here for if I got the number right, but you can see if I didn't guess it correctly, I'm not actually asking the end user if they want to play again. So we need to grab this and put it in here. And now we're asking them would they like to play again. So let's try it. Run. So I'm going to guess a number. Let's nice try it. It's not correct. I'm going to say yes. And now it's going to give me another chance to play it again. So let's say five. Nice try. It's not the number. And I can keep going until I get the number. I know one and five are gone. So I would keep trying. Okay, and one was the right number again this time. So would you like to play again? So if I say yes, it's gonna loop again, generate a new number as you saw, but if I type no, thank you for playing, please come again another time. And there is nice with some spacing. I can make it look a little nicer, but hopefully you get the idea of how we can simply add a while loop to play again for any program that you create.